to be honest, I had it and I think Jamie agrees from the facial expression. I'm sorry, we really wanted to like this restaurant but having tasted all the food here, I think it's a bit of a letdown, right? Yes? Oh, now she's speaking in Chinese. Welcome back to my channel and once again we are back in Paris Back to my pretty city Even Terence looks prettier here Everything is just pretty in Paris Call me Terence here, not Terence, okay? It's All Terence. right, Terence Yes We are waiting to check in at beautiful Mandarin Oriental The weather is so beautiful here in Paris and I really feel like my mood is so much better coming from like super scorching hot Milan so yeah we're gonna spend five days here and then we'll head back to Singapore and thing is that we'll be in Singapore for a couple of days before we fly back to Paris again for something exciting Cheers to being back in Paris once again. Knock knock! I'm on the air! I like this cake! Well, we haven't tasted it yet, but you know. They said that it's by their special chef. Gluten free, shall we taste it? Oh, but you can have it. I'm going to save my appetite for dinner! It looks really good though. Gluten free, it's okay. Anything of gluten free is not so good. It's very pretty. It's like there's this sprinkling of red velvet on top. I love this very Singaporean vibe kind of flowers here. Okay. Right, so this is our stay for the next few days. It looks really comfortable. Well guys, you know that I am always very happy in Paris. Let's check out if there is a bathtub because I, I was um, struggling with my showers for the last four nights in Milan. Let's see? Yes, there is a bathtub. Thank God. Just uh, walked in the heavy rain to come to these restaurants that we, one of our go to is called Flutes and it's very near the hotel it's super full so I'm glad that we got a table let's see what I should have I'm so exhausted from all that running from the rain and my knee is kind of painful are you having the fish and chips? I'm gonna have a beef oh okay yeah some meat might be a good change for all that pasta we've been having I think I'm gonna have some oysters and an orange gina for me I haven't had any orange gina this whole trip. It's my favorite drink. Let's see what I want. And I'm going to share with me. That's so good. I ordered another plate. So this is how you eat it. I like mine with Tabasco sauce. See, they are really big. Okay, so this is how you do it. Just give it a little twist and yeah, it's so sweet. Absolutely amazing. So fresh. I have to peel this part out. This part is not edible. Some Tabasco sauce. Yeah. Right? Mm. Delicious. A good old piece of Chateaubriand French fries. Oh my god, I love French fries. But I'm supposed to stay away from this. I guess one wouldn't hurt. <sighs> nice. Oh my god, I can feel how soft this piece of meat is just even before I cut it. It's very very soft. It's so soft that I can't cut it. Mm. Really good. Like 100% juicy. This is the crepe sucre. We didn't want to order crepe sucre because that day when we were at La Lore, we had a failure crepe sucre. Said, no so guess what happened to the crab Suzette and La Lorraine in, on the way before we went to Milan we had that dinner with Simbian so they missed 
take the salt for sugar. The crab suzette was so salty. The first bite, I almost died of shock. Okay, I have to be honest. The crepes are terrible. It tasted like my niece Isabel decided to go to the kitchen and make it for me. And that's how it tastes like. Like, so plain, so kindergartenish. You know, I mean like elementary schoolish. No. This is a no-no. It's so bad, it's almost funny. You can see that Terence look a little bit un unhappy today because he's suffering from like a bad bout of hay fever. hay fever. He has got an allergy to the summer pollen and his eyes are red and swollen. Can you show us a little bit of your red and swollen no, eyes? Oh my god. It looks even bigger than usual, your eyes. He already has very big eyes. So uh, outside our favourite Vietnamese pho restaurant, which we came back in November and we really love the broth. That is that place with very, very tiny tables. So yep, hopefully we don't have to queue. I feel that I'm eating with a celebrity because he has his sunglasses on. I am. I have my bag on my lap. My food is here, but first I need to protect my handbag in case I spill something on it. Very nice bowl of pho. Okay, we just finished our lunch at the pho shop and parents have something to say. Yeah, what just happened in there? What has happened in Fur 14? I didn't it's as feel. Though, it's as though we walked into another restaurant, the wrong restaurant from the first time we went there. The first time it was great, but this time around, the fur was weak, the beef was very bad, the imperial rolls were not fried well, and everything else, even the, this, the whatever the dessert thing that I was having was tasted bad. Everything was bad. I was uncomfortable, it was tight, I couldn't wait to get out of there. Oh my god, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> shit always happens, and this would be our last day at Fur 14, we will not come back. Yeah, simply because it was a very disappointing fur today. But anyway, the weather is beautiful even though the fur is not. I met some nice followers at the restaurant. Can you imagine like every corner of Paris, I meet people like Shout my fans. Shout out to fans from Laos. Yes, wow. so last night when I bumped into some fans, I was actually very shabbily dressed. I learned a lesson that whenever I'm in Paris, just always make sure that I dress fantastic. Never so know guys, who you're gonna meet okay. on the street? Yes, that's true. But I want to know where else can we get good fur in Paris? Please tell us in the comments Yay! below. Tell us, okay? After we spend hours and hours shopping. Now we are walking to a restaurant for dinner. Still very bright because it's summer and my knees are absolutely giving way. They are very painful. I think I twisted it this morning getting out of the Uber. Terence doesn't seem to care because he's dealing with his hay fever. Ooh. We are going to my starter is one shiso leaf and some vegetables on top with a few caviar. It looks like a bird's meal. Carrots is vigorously just devouring all the bread because it's warm and the butter is good. He's already finished his food. Well, obviously my salad is about to become hot. So we have uh, pasta with butaga and some vegetable. Just home and then... The taste is a bit tangy for me, a little bit slight on the sour side and to be honest, after you come from Italy, I feel that this is uh, okay-ish for me, it's not fantastic. I've had better, better pasta in Italy definitely. In fact, in second taste, it is actually very tangy. The pasta is well cooked, but it's just too lemony. I don't know it's so it's a bit sour. I, I don't understand this sour taste. You know what it means? It's like me when I go to Zen. I don't understand why the food is so sour. Sorry Zen. I mean, I love Zen. It's just that I just don't get the sourness of every dish. Let's try this. Got lemon inside. Sour, yeah. This like relish pasta. Relish on pasta. Honestly, I don't like it at all. Charis is mumbling, 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 mumbling. mumbling, mumbling. Uh, he 
is having a sweet bread, which is a uh, cow's bread. Haha. <laughs> the chuchuri gland of the view. Morel mushrooms and uh, red cherries. The spinach looks very inviting, and I'm having the sh shirashi of uh, beef, tuna, and what's that? Lobster. Lobster. It smells really good. They do the soup very well. It's very good. Very good. I want some. Chao fan. Chao fan? I thought it was shirashi. Yeah, but it's warm. And the seafood and stuff. I don't know, it just tastes like very premium chao fan. Premium chao fan. But it's not wok hei. How is it premium? I don't know what the wok hei is maybe coming from the gabi. What? Chao fan with gabi. Between this shirashi and the Singapore Japanese restaurant shirashi, which is better? Japanese restaurant chirashi is not the name itself chirashi already tell you it's Japanese. It looks a bit small at eh, this thing. Are you sure you're gonna be full? It's so small, it's perfect for me trying to keep fit, you know. Yeah. Um, it's perfect for me who is trying to keep fit because of too much pasta in Italy. So I'm trying to look my best for Seville. I should come back again tomorrow because the portion is very small. Okay guys, so Jamie's at her last straw. I, well, not last straw, but her last few mouthful of her shirashi. I wonder why she is, seems to be a bit struggling. Are you struggling? I think she's struggling because she even offered me a few mouthful and usually if it's really good, I wouldn't even hear anything about her offering me any kind of food. So I'm quite sure this thing is not really up to her liking. I can tell by her expression on her face that she ain't enjoying this that much because number one, it costs 87 euros for this plate of shirashi which ain't that fantastic. To be honest, I had it and I think Jamie agrees from the facial expression. I'm sorry, we really wanted to like this restaurant but having tasted all the food here, I think it's a bit of a letdown, right? Yes? Oh, now she's speaking in Chinese. It's only when she is really... <laughs> only when she's really unhappy, she's gonna be speaking in tongues and <laughs> in Chinese. Okay, last mouthful, go on. Do it, you can do it. Don't waste it, it's 87 euros per dish, come on. And of course, we are willing to pay for good food. And we have paid for really good food. Good job, good job, yes. Okay, bye. After a failed meal, I'm glad I brought obedient here. So in case I get hungry later, I have my oat milk. What's that? It's my oat obedient. It's plant-based and yes, I bring I bring like a few packets of it in my luggage. Throughout the trip, I have been drinking this. I love it. And I'm so shagged from today because my knee is really giving me a big problem. I think I twisted it. I need to see a doctor. When I get back, I need to sit down. Everywhere there's a queue. Okay, there's a queue everywhere. Harris is still wearing his celebrity sunglasses. I don't pass I'm, anyone my red eyes. I'm late for lunch and there's a queue. I don't know why. Maybe we should just <coughs> mention our friend. She's probably here already. My skirt zipper tore just as I was going out and my stockings tore as well. That's why I'm completely struggling to get ready. This is actually quite a nice museum. Check it out. Oh, yes. Oh, it's really nice. Right, so we are at Trocadero and this restaurant has a very nice view of the Eiffel Tower. I believe that I've been here before. I've never. The last I think time I came from... Oh, the other one. Okay, yeah, we, okay, we have been to the other one. So maybe this one is some... Um, I don't know. Let's check it out. Bonjour! Wow, you look so nice! So my VIP! Oh my god, look at how beautiful you look! Beautiful blue sky. What happened to your wardrobe malfunction? Oh my god! Oh my god, Terence was zipping me up and he tore the whole zip off the skirt. So I'm zipless now, I'm still wearing the skirt. I am wearing the skirt, but it has no zip. It has a zip. It's just lousy material. Oh my god! I'm telling so many things I'm getting like to be struggling every day. I've had it. The last time you were having it. It's beautiful. It's really nice. Oh, you were at the Cafe de Lourdes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's closed now. It's only for private events. That 
us a lot of food. Thanks for taking us here. We seem to always get lost when we are looking for the Pocto. Um, just now the driver took us to the old location again. I'm here to collect the bed linens that we ordered back in November when we were in Paris and it was just only ready a couple of weeks ago. So uh, that took a long time but yes, how do we work this? What do we press? Do you remember? The last time. Call I'm gonna have to call her. There you, there's Man, these flashing yeah. numbers here. So maybe it's Aga Aga just press one, two. Hello. Uh, Wrong? Yes, when know. I'm downstairs, what do I press? It's always a wild goose chase when we come here. I don't know. Maybe it's really as simple as just pushing it through. Oh no. Yes, look. Oh. I did it. And again. And again. Deep oh. Yes. How are you? I'm very good. It's good nice to see, see you. Is everything oh, okay? Nice. Yes. Perfect. Now it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Again in Paris. Yes. Perfect. Let's, um, do you want to see yeah. our new new collections a little bit? Do you have a little Yeah, sure. Few minutes? Let's take a walk around. Yes, yeah. please do. She's leading me yeah. to the baby's room, but um, yeah, we don't have a baby. Would you like to drink something? Maybe. Yeah. I like a Perrier. Yes, of course. Just water. water? Uh, still, still water. Still water? Yeah. Alright, and water. Thank you. Alright. Oh my god, so pretty. This lily of the valley print. I wanted this in white. Actually, yes, we didn't receive it for the oh, moment. Oh no, no, no. You no, said no. I could special no. order. Yes, that. yes, it's a special order, right. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you want to try this one? Yeah, alright. Very pretty, very light. What do you guys think of this robe? I know I look a little bit puffy here, but it's because I have a very puffy skirt on. Yeah, but I really do really love the material. Really? It's the royal. I ordered my big linen skin as well. This is nice. It will match with my Dior tableware. You're our best mannequin. <laughs> you want it for the first time, so we, we offer them for you. The, vo the voile, and you feel the voile how it's it's just incredibly soft and uh, it's like almost silk. And the more you will wash it, yeah, so the more soft. it will be silky. But you know it it's because you have already yeah. Porto. Yes, I love it. Look at how sheer the material is, and that is why I only use these bed sheets. Oh, nice. Mm. A bit strange. I like, I yeah. like that one better. I like that one and that one for sure. Let me try that one again. Yes, sure. And uh, what do you want to do? I'm just going crazy here. Yes, why not? Let me try. It's very different and mm -hmm. it's easy. Uh, it's a Provencal type of hat, so south of France, south of France uh, type of Yeah, I, I like it with this too again. Yes. And uh, is the size okay for you? It's a little bit small. Oh, easy. <coughs> but no, not with the black ribbon. I actually like that very big one. This one? Yeah, yeah. yes. Because it's very high. I like that one. Yes. I think I should do that. Should that one like that? In, in, in a light color. This is the one I... Ah, excuse me. No, this is nice, right? Excuse me. You know what you're going to do? You know what you're going to do? This one will be nice for the Rivera. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know what you're going to wear? Yes, I have three different outfits. Okay. Which I think I will need a hat because it's very hot. Oh yes. And uh, Spain. You need to put yes. it. Yes. I need to cover my eyes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can recommend me another style. This one, yes. Okay. okay. I will take this Perfect. one. This is a neutral color. I think I can go with like my long dress. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so, um, something else as well. We are at a Korean restaurant with our Parisian friend Daniel and his friend who is a super model from China. My name is Han. Your name is Han and he models from LV. Versace. Versace and... Wow! Cheers! How old are you? You look like you are... Really young. Okay, I wanted to say 21. Very young. 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19... 19
So supermodel here is uh, younger than my daughter and my son, okay? Yeah. Remember his face when you look at the magazine. <laughs> Morning, I am all dressed up and I'm just waiting for the chapeau, meaning hats that I bought yesterday to come because I would like to wear one of my hats. It's quite a sunny day although it rained just now but I'm just going to take a chance to bring my purple Birkin with me today because it looks great with my outfit. I do hope that my hat comes soon because I am about to leave for lunch. Yes, I will have to put on a jacket as well because it gets pretty cold throughout the day. Because my hat is not here yet. But I think I better get dressed. And when it comes, I'll just need to put it on. My shampoo is here! Finally! Now I can wear it out to lunch. Yes! Ooh, I'm supposed to look this to the back of my hair. Just adjust it properly. Apparently the lady says that I'm supposed to wear it a little bit more to the front for the look. Something like that. Super cute. Got my total look on today. Oh, I just tell Von Son that I have to go back to Singapore because my lashes are not lasting. No more lashes left. So I need to go back for beauty and come back again. <laughs> Eternal blue. <glow>. Yeah. <laughs> This. Shopping has indeed worked up our appetite and we are back at the Ladoyan. Tonight we are going to try something different. It is the Japanese restaurant by Ladoyan. The other day when we tried the cafe wasn't um, great for us but I think many people really enjoy the cafe but it's just not for us. <laughs> just two days ago, we were at the One Michelin Star restaurant of Le Doyen. That was the first time we tried it. We were not very impressed. So let's hope that tonight, we will not be disappointed. We are in a Japanese restaurant in Paris. Just something funny happened just now that uh, I wasn't paying attention and what happened was I drank the sauce and I thought it was sake. Oh my god! Oh my god, never ending desserts. This is the third one. I'm afraid my waistline cannot take much more. I'm with Olivia today for lunch. Uh, Hello. I arrived so late because we went to the different wrong branch. So hungry. Of the restaurant and I'm so hungry. The kitchen is closed. I might as well be dead. Hey guys, it is our last night in Paris and I know we didn't vlog much today. We were rushing from like lunch to shop, our last minute shopping and stuff and Terence wasn't feeling very well so yeah we were just trying to like complete all the last minute things that we have to do and then we are finally going home tomorrow it's been a very long trip um, we don't usually take such long trips so um, yeah it's quite tiring but well it's good that we're gonna have a few days of rest back in, in Singapore and then we are coming back to Paris again so yeah watch out for our vlog next and I'll see you in the next video guys bye